think I'm live. I think I am live. What's going on, folks? It's Friday evening. Just going to do a quick drawing here. Make sure everybody can hear me before I get going and everything. I want to make sure I'm good, of course. And we'll wait for a few more folks to come in. But maybe I can start sketching anyway. I don't want to take up a lot of time here. So, let's get going. What's going on, Stovetop Ninja? Thanks for joining me again. <laughs> Love the positivity. What's going on, Danny? Socrates, the cab driver. What's going on? Thanks for all that info. It sounds pretty cool about the colored brush pens and stuff. All right, everybody can hear me. Amex Jam 55, what's going on? I'm doing pretty well. How are you guys doing? I'm just chilling out, about to do some drawing. You know, it's always a little, I'm not like nervous, but I'm always like afraid. Like, okay, I gotta make sure this is gonna be a good drawing. So, just gonna do my best going on Ben Ben's art hey I missed last night glad you are doing these yeah I almost didn't do one tonight I was debating and then I was like all right I'll just do one so that's why it's a little later than yesterday I did pretty early like 5 30 and now it's already 6 30 almost so I'm gonna get going here this should be pretty simple this this drawing should be pretty straightforward especially compared to last night last night I drew Deadpool and that was, it took a little while to get the sketch, the uh, drawing blocked in, but this should be, uh, should be a lot quicker, hopefully. And I've drawn this once in graphite before. It's probably in my sketchbook here already. Um, maybe I can show that later or right now if you guys want to see it. Uh, Stovetop Ninja asks, have you thought about auctioning your live drawings? Yes, I have thought about that. Um, that's about as far as I've gotten, though. I've just thought about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't, haven't thought too much about it yet. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a cool idea for sure. Um, a lot of people seem interested in the one I did last night, the Deadpool one. So, um, yeah, I mean, it could be could be a really cool thing to do in in the future. No doubt. So I'm getting right into it right away. Okay, so you guys want to see. So if somebody wants to see the, the first graphite sketch I did of this hawk. I used uh, graphite and white charcoal. So I'm going to try to find it here real quick. Give me one second. Let's try to flip through this. It should only take me a second here. I think it's in this sketchbook. Well, here's a cool... I should have shown this last night, but here's something I drew. This is a, a study of a Bouguereau painting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's graphite and white charcoal. Some other drawings. Where's the, uh, let me see if I can find this hawk. Uh, there's some bunny rabbits. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's kind of small. So I think, uh, I think this is kind of my idea. For tonight, I'm gonna do like a white background, but I'm gonna do with, I think I'm gonna try this small pin and just do like straight lines up and down in the background. And then for the hawk, I'm gonna follow the form and do, I'm not gonna do just vertical lines for this <laughs> drawing. I'm gonna break the rules a little bit, but I think that's my idea. I think that's my idea. And down here is, 
kind of a close-up of one of the heads I did of the hawk. This is obviously a different uh, photo than the current one, but pretty much the same thing. So here's some other birds as well. These are all from Alaska, all these birds. Uh, these are wild birds from Alaska and Denali National Park. And then these were from uh, the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage, I believe. So anyway, let me get back to it now. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. So this is kind of my idea that I'm going for for this ink thing tonight. So should be pretty good. And here's some wolves real quick. Might as well show you those. Here's some wolves from uh, Alaska as well. These were in a wildlife conservation uh, type of zoo. I forgot what it's called. The, uh, yeah, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, wildlife something. It's kind of, it's not really a zoo. It's just like, it's more wildlife that they, uh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for the $4.99. As always, Stovetop Ninja. Greatly, greatly appreciated. So, yeah, pencil money, exactly. Man, appreciate it. So thankful. Keeps me going, man. I, I bought I bought a bunch of new pins uh, like two nights ago. So all these donations that I've been getting from you guys on these live streams actually uh, paid for those new pins. So I'm going to be getting them, I think, Sunday or Monday? I think Sunday. So I'll be back in business with some better pins. I think tonight I'm going to use the uh, thicker pin that I have, this 08 gonna use that one because I'm done with the thin thinner pins right now I'm gonna use I want to use the thicker pins or a thicker pin rather so let's block this in real quick I'm talking too much talking too much So I'm just making little marks here too, just as guides later on for some of the shading. It just kind of helps me uh, just remember where some of the darker areas are. So most of this drawing uh, is going to be just the tone of the paper, like you guys saw in that dra graphite uh, drawing. So there's not going to be a whole lot of shading really, which is good because uh, you know, I don't want to do like another two hour video. <laughs> Make this one a little shorter tonight. Since I got a later start. And uh, it's Friday, so I kind of want to chill out this evening. Kind of just relax. Other than doing a drawing. You guys got any plans for the weekends? I mean, it's not like you can really do anything, I guess. But, uh because it's kind of quarantined. But you guys got anything going on? Anything uh, shows you're watching on Netflix or Hulu or whatever? I mean, what's what's happening? What's everybody doing? I mean, I, I probably won't even know any of the shows because I don't have Netflix or any of those things anyway, but I do have Amazon Prime, so I watch some things on there, but they don't really have a whole lot of good stuff from what I'm I've seen it's very it's very hard to find something good to watch on Amazon Prime. I found one really really good show on Amazon Prime. If you guys are, if you guys have that, there's a show called Humans. There's three seasons and that's all they did. But dude, incredible incredible show. I was blown away by that show. So definitely, if you have Amazon Prime, check out the show Humans. With uh, has Jimma Chan and some other 
actresses and actors. It's a really cool show, man. It just touches on so many different things and about the future and like AI and like sentient AI. I mean, it's really cool how they did everything. And they touched on like kind of the political aspect of it and how it might affect. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool. All right, don't know that my proportions are really, I think I might have made them a little too wide. But looking at it again, maybe I didn't. The face looks a little funny, but I think it's just because it's lack of value right now. Oh, Game of Thrones. I never got into Game of Thrones. Never got into it. Okay, did I miss anything here? What sketchbooks do you use? Uh, I just use these. Um, I like using these Tone Tan sketchbooks. So I have a small one here and then like a 9 by 12 So um, I like using the tan ones because I like using white sometimes. This is from a coffee shop that I went to. Um, so, yeah, I like doing thumbnails for a painting I did. So I like using the Tone Tan sketchbooks. That's really what I use for the most part. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Do you use fixative spray on your sketchbook? No, I don't. Um, I've tried it before. I'm not really a fan of the whole fixative thing, and that's kind of why I moved to pen and ink, because you don't have to use fixative at all. It doesn't really smudge or anything, so... Anything else? Anything else? Um, what sketchbook do you use? Answer that. Thanks for posting that again because I, I almost missed it the first time. Danny says, I don't like TV. Yeah, I don't even own a TV, honestly. I don't even have a TV in my apartment. Um, I haven't had a TV in it's over seven years, so I just use my laptop, but I, I really don't watch. I don't really watch a lot of stuff at all, but just very rarely, you know, I watch movies and just depends, you know, it depends on what, I, what I'm feeling like. If I just want to chill out, I'll try to find some weird movie to watch or something. Um, because sometimes I think movies and stuff, depending on what kind of movie, you know, it can be kind of inspirational in a way. It can be kind of uh, helps you see things in a different way sometimes, for sure. So it's one thing I like about certain movies. <laughs> yeah, he's a little short, huh? I don't want to draw him any lower, though. He's almost at the bottom of the sketchbook. But you're right, he probably does need to be lower. Let's do it. Let's make it right. Let's make it right if I'm going to do it. Well, hmm. I think I made them too wide because I can't make them longer because then the, the proportions are off. That's all right, man. That's all right. I'm not going to sweat too much about it. Let's just, let's just get it in. Let's just get it in and do it. Proportions aren't going to be perfect. This is just a sketch. It's just having fun. I don't want to be too rigid about it. I mean, it is in a sketchbook, you know. Let 
Give me one second here. How much how much does a sketchbook cost? I mean it depends on depends on uh what country you're in. But anywhere from like ten to twelve dollars, I think. I mean it depends on the size too. The smaller one's gonna be cheaper. So yeah, I mean just uh I usually get it on Amazon, it's where I find it. But All right, I think that's it, man. I don't want to spend too much time on this part. It's kind of boring. So I'm gonna go straight to, let's get, let's get the ink going. Let's get the ink flowing, I think. Yeah, I don't need this to be perfect, so. Just lightening it up, of course. Using my eraser here, just rolling it, rolling it out. All right. So I'm gonna use a thicker, like I said earlier, I'm gonna use this thicker 08. Last time I was using like 02, 01, 03. So I'm gonna try this thicker one and see, uh, see how this looks. Brent, Brent asks, uh, hey Brando, <laughs> off topic, but where did you get that model head you have? So you're referring to this head over here. This so everybody knows. Referring to this model head I have, you can see it on the small camera. So, uh, I think I think you can get it. I'm trying to remember the name of the website. I think it's planesofthehead.com. But if you just search planes of the head on Google, and uh, like planes of the head model head, it's going to come up. I think it's it's uh, it's called the Asaro. Planes of the Head, A-S-A-R-O, Asaro. It's the name of the artist, John Asaro. I think he's the one that kind of came up with that thing for the most part. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Uh, anything else? Would you dare to draw a subscriber? Eh, maybe. Probably not, because then it'll lead to me, lead to them unsubscribing because I didn't make it look like them. So yeah, I'm just I'm just outlining this pretty quickly or pretty loose. You know, I want this one to be. I don't know, just trying to have some fun with this one. Last night was pretty tight, 
you know, it was kind of uh, pretty challenging. So I was kind of going really slow and stuff. And this one, I just feel like I can be pretty loose with it because there's not a lot of anatomy or anything I need to really worry about. I just feel more confident doing an animal like this, getting back to what I've been doing for a while. For anyone that watched uh, last night's and now they're watching this one, they're probably, <laughs> it's a big difference. And I was very uh, kind of nervous last night drawing that one. No problem, Brent. Hope it was helpful, man. Let me know if you can't find it or something. I'll, I can email you a link or send a link or whatever later on. Maybe in the in the in the next stream I can draw a bear. Yeah, that'd be cool, for sure. Thanks for the suggestion. Much appreciated. Okay, so uh, Yeah, I think I think this drawing is pretty straightforward for the most part. Oh, that looks a little weird. Already went kind of too dark up there. That's all right. I think it's just because I don't have the rest of the head shaded in. So, there's not a whole lot of shading to do on this one. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit. You know, all these, all these little tiny lines and stuff, I'll get to those eventually. I'm so used to doing vertical lines, it's like I'm already automatically going to that, but doing it a little differently tonight, not going completely vertical only, just doing whatever, just doing whatever, just going with the flow.
<laughs> what? Can you draw a gay Mickey Mouse? Uh, no, probably not. I don't even want to... I'm not even going to go there. Oh, jeez. So already pretty quickly, I mean, I got something going here. Uh, once I fill in the head and kind of the beak, I mean, I'm pretty much pretty, pretty good. I don't even know how to shave without doing vertical lines anymore. I'm, just, I'm so used to doing the vertical lines. But these feathers are kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to do like shorter strokes and stuff. These little tiny fur type of lines or feather, feathery type of lines. And this pin isn't the best here. I think this pin's about to die too, so I gotta get those new pins this weekend. <laughs> uh, okay. Just going to start moving down a bit. Maybe start putting in some of these smaller marks and stuff. Stuff's going to take forever. Hopefully not. Not too happy with how the head came out. It's a little weird, a little rough looking, but yeah, this is a thicker pin than what I was been using the last few days. So it's just a little bit of a different tool. So for this, like, I'm not like drawing every single little thing. I mean, it's just trying to get the idea across of what this pattern is. And I think that's the cool thing about drawing animals and stuff is you just kind of, 
make it look, you know, you just give it the impression of what's there. You don't have to copy every single little thing. What's going on everybody? I just joined. Thanks for joining. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. A peregrine falcon. It probably is that. I just don't remember what it was. Uh, but now that you said that, it is, it is not... I mean, is it a type of hawk? I don't even know. I'm not a bird expert. I know a few, I know a lot of different birds, but. Don't know that in particular, what the classification actually is. But yeah, you're probably right. This is from the Anchorage Zoo in Alaska. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this is coming out, but uh, I'll just keep pressing along and see what ends up happening. I may end up using a smaller pin to get some of the overall shading because there are some darker areas. I mean, I kind of already done it, did it so far, but this area up here is definitely lighter than a lot of this. So I may want to kind of, I don't know, not sure yet, not sure how to handle this. Struggling with this one, struggling. It's all right, they can't, not every drawing is gonna be amazing, you know, sometimes it's a struggle. Sometimes they suck. And uh, you learn a lot or you learn nothing and it's just a crappy drawing, you know, it just depends. Everything, everything's different every time. You never know, you never know what's gonna happen.
<sighs> it looks kind of hard to draw with that pen. Yeah, it, it, it kind of is because just the way you have to hold it more straight up and down and it's, it's kind of a thicker tipped pen than what I've been using the last few evenings. So I feel like I have less control in a way because once I put a line down, it's already, you know, I can't make it any thinner. It's already thick. You know, with when I use a thinner line pen, I can make it thicker if I want. You know, I have a little bit more control with the lines and stuff. And with this, it's like, eh. Whatever happens, it just happens. Yeah, I guess it doesn't look too bad yet. It's almost there, getting there. <clears throat> Hello, how's everybody doing? It's just joining, thanks for joining. Hope your Friday went well. Hope everybody's doing all right. So I'll just keep it zoomed out for a minute. We'll see if we can get this thing to come together a bit. Obviously, I'm just missing some, has to be a little more blocked in a little bit more. Yeah, this is driving me nuts. I, I don't have a lot of patience for this kind of, uh, these kind of designs where it's like so many small little things. I just start going crazy. I just want it to be over. <laughs> uh, start losing patience. But that's when the drawing starts looking badly because I'm getting impatient. I think we're doing all right here for the most part. I'm trying to create like some subtle lines for like different feathers and stuff. trying to show some kind of overlapping and stuff. I think I'm gonna have to, that's what I was saying. I think I might use like a thinner pin and come back over and just like do some lines all over um, some of the darker areas. Cause up here it's a lot lighter and this is a lot, gets darker um, relatively speaking. I could do it with this pin, I could try it. So you like just add some spacing like that some uh, cross hatching like that. And that'll just darken it slightly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure how to handle this. I wanna simplify it a bit and not get too complicated, but it's a little late for that. Definitely a little late for that. There's just so much layering, so many different kinds of layers and stuff. It's, it's hard to tell what's going on. It just looks all flat and chaotic.
Here we go. A little more dimension, I guess. Something like that. Um, Will you ever do a person tutorial for the Learn to Draw series? Yeah, possibly, possibly. Um, I'm still trying to figure out like how to go about that whole series. Uh, where I'm at, it's still a little cold to turn on the air conditioner, so uh, for me anyway. So I hope to see you here in the summer when I really need you. <laughs> uh, Black and white makes it difficult to give an impression. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not the best setting to be drawing. Oh. So let's try to figure. Let's try to do this. Let's see what this. See if this does anything. Um, how do I start? How do I start? Like this, I guess. Let's just do it. So I'm trying to just give more context to this whole mid-tone color of the bird. I think that really helps it. I think this white helps that a little bit. What do you guys think? Does that help it a bit at all? I think it might have.
I like Hawks much better than I do Eagles. Eagles are overrated. <laughs> uh, having some bird wars in the uh, chat here. Yeah, I think this really, I think this helped popping it out a little bit. So I want to try to build up the white a little bit more around him slightly. Just to make it a little more solid. Yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, you know, it's not like it's not like a whole lot more to do to it. You know, kind of touch up some of the lines here that got destroyed a bit. But really, I mean, yeah, this is just like a sketch, so only thing to do is kind of darken this. Just kind of keep this sketchy down here. Kind of cool. Um, what else? What else? Yeah. I feel like I like, I feel like I want more white, solid, more solid white. Problem is, this white pin is not that great. Um, Yeah, the white, usually, see, like this drawing, the white definitely helps it. Um, sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes it's not needed, but I knew for this one, that's what I wanted to do. Because this is already, this is based off a sketch I did in graphite with white charcoal. So I kind of already knew what I was going to do. I showed you guys that in the beginning. Show that here in a second if for anybody that might have missed it, I could show it again. Kind of where I got this idea that I already already had the idea kind of planned out. But I could sit here all day and like fill all this white in and stuff, but uh I don't know man, I think I think that's pretty cool. I'm wondering if I should hit a little bit of white, like right on, right on his uh, his beak, because that seems like the brightest part. This is kind of bright too, but I'm afraid of touching that at all. I don't really want to ruin this kind of look to it. Um, yeah, yeah, touching up the eye. I need to. Do, yeah, that's. It's gonna be hard to do. kind of ruin the eye because that pin I was using is so thick but maybe if I do touch it up a little I could touch it up with the white a little bit possibly yeah 
unfortunately, it's not really not much I can do there. It's not bad. Maybe I'll, I'll hit the beak a little bit. Let's see how close I can zoom this in. So that's as far as it can zoom in. It's kind of cool. You can see how this white pin just is not coming out. Okay. Let's uh, take a little bit. Down here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely cool. Uh, I think the only thing I might do, I might get this thinner pin, this O2, and I might just do like, Mostly at the bottom here. I just want to darken some of that and I want the contrast to be up here from where his head and the chest are. I think some of these areas could just be darker, more simplified. There we go. I think that's that's really bring, giving it more dimension. Kind of showing that his chest is is like poking out over his over his uh, lower half here and the feet. Yeah, so yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out. I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's pretty sketchy, you know? A lot of this down here, it's kind of, kind of lost some of the pattern and stuff, but it's really not that important uh, for the most part, you know, because the focus is more up here anyway. So it's more of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I don't know much more I can do to it to really I might fix some of the pattern up here. Give it those kind of teardrop shapes that it needs. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. The only thing I can do is like... Really darken this just a bit more. Just kind of bring that together a bit, something like that, I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, guys, I don't, I, I don't know. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. This one kind of went a little more quickly. Well, I spent about an hour, so not bad for an hour, I think. You guys have any suggestions for this thing? Anything? Anything that sticks out or that looks weird or like it needs something else? I almost wonder if like a little bit of white through here, just barely, like sporadically white. Maybe here, here. I'm, I'm afraid to do too much with the white. Um, SF Eagle, what's going on? No worries. You can always watch the replay. Got here late, but uh, I'm pretty much just about finished with this, I think. But uh, thanks for tuning in e either way, making it to the end here. I just, um, yeah. Yeah, I thought about making a pyramid shape with the background. I thought about doing that, like extending it down. That could be cool. I don't want to overdo it, though. I don't know. I don't want to overdo it. Amex Jam 55, thank you for the $3. Very appreciated. It will go to good use in the future. I'm gonna get some new pens and some, probably a new sketchbook. This one is like, I got like four pages left, so I'm gonna need a new, another sketchbook here soon. So, greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope hope you enjoyed this little drawing thing. I'll show some close-ups here. You know, I, I could always do white on the top of his head too, but I don't wanna. I'll end up losing that kind of outline, so I don't really want to touch that. Um, I made the eye a little flatter on top than it should be, but it's all right. looks a little meaner that way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to mess too much with the white background. I know, I think this side should come out a little bit more, though, for balance. Like down here. Let's see. Let's measure this out, actually. Yeah, it should come out a little bit more. So maybe that's, uh, let's see. Let's see. It's a little more balanced, a little bit. Now it's too far out. All right, I don't want to mess with it much more. <laughs> I'll keep building it out and out, and then it'll just be too much. So cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Nah, I don't want to add any light gray. Nah, I really don't. I, I think this is this is pretty solid. Um, I'll show you guys what I showed at the beginning. Some of you might have missed it, but I'll, I'll show it again. So this this is kind of based on a, a graphite sketch that I did months and months ago. So this was my initial idea. You can see I kind of did this a little bit better on this. This is much smaller though, um, but basically the same same kind of photo this is where I got the idea from so pretty cool and there's just some other birds and stuff I already showed those so let's get back to back to where I was so yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this came out in the beginning I was a little concerned but uh, I like this I like this so can you give the brand names of the pins or say where you can find them? So I buy them on Amazon. I'll post some links down below in the replay to the, some of the pins, but they are Pigma Micron. So yeah, if you just like look up like liner pins, if you type in Micron liner pins, these will come up. And I just use all different sizes. I really like the uh, 05 size. That's my favorite size, 05. But I also use like 03 and 08 from time to time. And uh, I like using the brush pen too every once in a while. It's a pretty cool thing to use. 
I'll show real quick, possibly. So this is how I use the brush pen. I draw my cat from life. So this is my cat just hanging around the apartment. And uh, I just go straight in with the brush pen. I don't use pencil or anything. And it's just a lot of fun practice. This is probably my favorite. These are my, probably my favorite pages. You know, these two cats here, I think. Those are my favorite. These are pretty good too. So I have a lot of fun with this, uh, this brush pen. You, know, you can get a lot of cool lines and then thinner lines and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've just drawn my cat. I want to fill up this whole sketchbook with just my cat, the smaller one. So I got a lot more pages to go, many, many more. But anyway, you guys have any other questions before I get off here? Ask away, ask right now. This is it. Um, SF equals says, see you tomorrow. I really enjoy how you teach some of your audience while you're still focused on your work. Yeah, I, honestly, I didn't know that I would be able to do that. Uh, I kind of just was w been winging it the last few days. <laughs> so. Kashika, I believe is how I say that, says, I wish I could donate, but I don't have the money, but very well done. No, I, I appreciate Appreciate the thought. Really appreciate it. Just watching the videos is good enough support as well. Where can I buy the toned paper? So this is the kind of sketchbook it is, Strathmore Toned Tan. And uh, I got the, I get this on Amazon too. So if you if you're able to use Amazon, I know I know everybody not everybody can, but that's where I get mostly all my supplies. If you just Google search that stuff, you'll probably find links for it to buy anywhere. So. How long did it take to get this good? Uh, my whole life, 30 years. <laughs> I've been drawing since I was like four or five. So, I mean, it's just, it just takes time. You know, a few years, if you just put in the, the effort, I mean, it's, everyone's different. So some people, it could take a few months. Other people, it could take a few years. Other people will take a few lifetimes. So everyone's different. It's hard to, for me, it's taken me my whole life to get this far, so. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Is Amazon delivering anymore? Uh, in my area, they are. They're still delivering. I just ordered some pins the other day. And they're coming on Sunday. So, <laughs> yeah, they're still delivering, I guess. I don't know if they're limiting delivery or something, but it seems, I hope they're still delivering. How much is that sketchbook? Uh, it depends. It just depends. A s smaller one, this small one could be like, I don't even know, eight bucks or something. And the larger one's like 12 bucks, I think. I don't know. Just check it out. Just check it out online. You'll get the prices. So. Um, any other questions here? Let's see if I missed any. Hmm. Peace out later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, okay. Any programs you recommend on art tutorials? Any programs I recommend? Um, that's a good question. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't really watch too many art tutorials anymore, unfortunately. So I, I don't, I'm not really up to speed on like what's the best program out there or anything. So yeah, unfortunately, no, I don't have any, I have no suggestions for that, unfortunately, I apologize. Any new tutorials? Um, not yet, not anything planned or not anything like ready to go. Um, I mean, I'm always, I have a whole list of things to do and plans and stuff. Uh, there's gonna be more, like tomorrow I'm gonna have a time-lapse video probably of, of a drawing uh, with maybe like a voiceover. So 
If there's any topic you guys want me to touch on, like on a voiceover for like a five minute video, let me know, like something I can talk about because I'm kind of running out of ideas, I'm running out of topics to cover. I've talked about a lot of aspects of like how to get good at art. So I'm gonna binge watch your videos and check with you in a week. Appreciate it. Have fun watching them. Hope you enjoy. But uh, anyway, if there's no other questions, then uh, I'm going to get off here and eat some dinner or something and chill out, relax. Hope you guys enjoy your evening. If I want to develop my drawing, how long will it be? I have no idea. I mean, th there's no way I could tell you that. There's just, there's no way. I mean, how fast do you draw? How good are you at drawing? Like, what kind of skills do you have? I mean, it just... I don't even know, I didn't even know how long this was going to take me, you know, it's just, it takes as long as, as long as it takes, that's what it takes, you know. Um, how to draw hair. Uh, from what, I, the way I draw hair, and from what I've seen from other videos, you want to think about it in big clumps. Um, if you go with individual hairs, it's going to take you forever, and it's just not, you want to focus on value and big clumps of value in the hair. And then after that, you can put in smaller lines and stuff. But big, like almost with anything, you focus on the big shape first. So like I focused on the outline, the big block in shape. And then I broke down the head shape and then the wings and then this thing. And then you go smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's, that's what you do. That's how I think about it. I find it difficult to draw branches. Yeah, those are pretty difficult. I'm actually... I'm actually coming up with a book right now, or a guide. It's not really a book. It's going to be more like a guide, a PDF guide on how to draw trees. And I've seen a few books. I've read a few books, or, you know, I've seen a few books on how to draw trees. And the thing that I'm working on is, like, blows the other things I've seen out of the water. And this is just stuff that I'm, I've learned from observation and just seeing trees and, like, understanding them and how to draw them. The thing I'm coming out with, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little while. I haven't worked on it in a while, but I'm really trying to make something pretty good. At least, I don't know, 40 or 50 pages or something. You know, we'll, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I just want it to be instructional and value and, and, and just bring a lot of value. I don't care how long it is, you know, but so that, that's something um, something I'm working on. Um, will you continue the Will you continue the beginner series? Yeah, I do plan on continuing that. Uh, I need to think about it more. I really need to plan it out more, and I want the videos to be a little bit better. So I'm still I'm trying I'm juggling on how to continue with it. That's all. Um, just trying to take my time. I want it to be good. But yeah, I want to put something out soon on that. So I apologize for the delay. I know a lot of people are probably waiting on that. So. Yeah, I want to come up, I'm working on a few different PDF guides. I want to have like a series of guides on like how to draw hands. That's going to be one of them. How to draw trees is going to be one of them. Um, you know, just a few different things, not too many, but I, I want stuff that's going to, that people are going to, that people want to draw and it's going to help them. So that's, that's my focus right now. Uh, or it's been my focus for a little, little while. It's my focus for the next few months, I guess. So, yeah, it should be cool. should be cool. And eventually I want to put out, like, some videos that kind of complement them um, that will be affordable. And, you know, I just want to try to build kind of a, a, a nice thing that's going to help people and it's going to help support me and keep being able to create things like this and try to give me a little more freedom to, to do things like this. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, in the voiceover, why not try to explain how you tried to capture realism if you did try to do that? Yeah, that's that's a good idea, like how to create realistic drawings. Um, yeah, I could talk about that. I appreciate the the suggestion. That might be a good one. Where is the picture from? Uh, it's from 
the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage, Alaska. And a lot of their animals, um, I don't normally like zoos a lot because, you know, keeping animals captive and stuff, it's kind of messed up. But this zoo, actually, it was a lot of um, injured wildlife. So it's kind of cool. They were kind of helping the injured wildlife and, you know, whatever. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to get off here and enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you guys do the same. Enjoy your weekend. I'll try to keep these live streams going as much as I can. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to keep doing them every day, but uh, if you guys ever have any suggestions for things I should draw next, like different animals or whatever, just post it down in the comments below and in, on my videos in the, in the replay of this or wherever. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and uh, peace, my friends. Thank you.